Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. So happy to be here with you guys today. Um, just in case ain't nobody told you, I love you and I am hoping your day goes awesome. Um, I want to thank everybody for your likes, shares, your subscribes, and most emphatically, uh, your comments. They bring tears to my eyes. You guys make me so happy, kind, gentle, loving, and, you know, resonating and everything. And I, wow. And I just want you to know that I really appreciate y'all um, as you encourage me with your beautiful words to continue on, you know, to continue to, you know, face fears and just jump on there and be willing to look like a goofball if necessary. And if not, maybe just to say a few words that'll help somebody out there. Because when I help you, God helps me. And that's just the way I see it. I, I work for Dharma, uh, karma, good karma. I love God. God takes care of me uh, in every way. Mother Earth provides for me every single thing. I, it's a beautiful life. I, I guess because I was a panhandler here in this city for so long, and um, that once I did get a house, every a lot of people know me, and they have wonderful food banks here where you can go. You don't even have to give ID. They give you a shopping cart. Uh, there is a lot of help in this place that God brought me to. I call it the land of, you know, it's the garden, and it is. Washington, we don't have industries here. All we have is orchards and packing companies. And so it's just a beautiful little farm town and it, it suits me so well. And the people are awesome. I love them. You guys are awesome. I love you. Uh, you know, I'm in prime in my life. It feels like I've got so many, like, I don't, it feels like I got so many years ahead of me that like, it's like, I feel better now than when I was 40. So, you know, age is but a thing. It's a number. It's how you feel about yourself. It's how you love yourself. It's how you treat yourself that counts, right? This reading is for the Divine Masculines. And when I'm talking about treating yourself, I'm talking about eating that doggone apple a day, you know, regardless of what else is going on. You know, it's good for your heart. It's good for your blood. And if that's, you know, if you only start out eating an apple a day, and, you know, do that six, seven minutes of yoga. It doesn't take long, but man, the benefits are awesome, especially if you do it four or five times a week. And it gets to where before you know it, the seven minutes is gone. But you feel good because you did it and because you love yourself. And I know this is a reading for the Divine Masculine. So, you know, maybe you guys don't do yoga, but listen, Yoga is so good for your bones and it stretches and leans out your muscles and a lean muscle is a strong muscle. And we all know that limber is, is better. So, you know, try some yoga, but today, well, Hey, some of the best warriors, which is our card today, are yoga masters, right? Uh, the samurai was one of the first cards on this. The samurai is a yoga master. And, you know, in the art of war, it is really better to be flexible than strong. Because when you're getting ready to do a big fight, right? You, you know, one good punch might knock somebody out. But I'll tell you what, if you're strong and flexible, you're going to get away from that one punch. You're going to move before the punch hits you. So... Yeah, flexibility is really good for, you know, after we hit a certain age. But in all actuality, uh, flexibility is good for any age because the more flexible you are, the faster you are, the more um, you're capable of getting up and down, the least likely you'll fall because it's all about balance. Anyway, we've got the warrior here, X. This is 10. In the original deck, I believe this would be the Hermit, maybe. 
I can't quite remember, and I should because that's my card. Like, I'm Virgo, the hermit. Anyway, so X, though, is X marks the spot, right? We're all warriors. We're all warriors in this world. And it's not easy to be a warrior either. But if we want to find peace within ourselves, we got to stand up and fight for what we believe in because on every side of us, there will be, you know, people trying to tear us down. And if we don't know ourselves well enough that we can stand up to all the things that are coming in at us, because listen, we're all warriors every day. Every day we've got people thinking and feeling you know, most 90% is good thoughts and good feelings coming our way, the people that love us, right? But there are times when we literally have to stand our ground sometimes and voice our truth to others in order to um, acquire a ceasefire, right? They have to know that we're willing to stand up for ourselves. And that's what a warrior is all about. It's either standing up for yourself or standing up for the less fortunate around you whom you see are being misused or abused or taken advantage of, right? Now, I'm sure on this channel, most of us are not weak because we've all been down that road of... Um, life and I'm sure most of you have had to stand up for yourselves many times um, it's very important also to teach our children to be able to stand up against it for themselves um, and I'll tell you why because it helps with the bullying at school most children get bullied at school aren't able to stand up for themselves we need to teach our children if they can and it's possible to help watch out for others as well and in doing this they begin to build up their karma points it helps them to feel honorable and if they can't do nothing more than go and tell somebody the truth or a teacher or get help for somebody that is being bullied you know just getting them to stand up and begin their life being strong and um, confident in knowing that they're doing the right thing and let them know they'll probably face a lot of conflict be because of it. I know this is itching because those of us who do stand up to do the right thing are not always appreciated. It, it, that's true. It's a dirty job, but somebody's got to do it. We need people from all walks of life who are willing, you know, to stand up for others and animals too. Animals too deserve to have someone to stand up for them. So being a warrior for life is not an easy job. It's uh, the closest you'll come to death. Warriors and death are always face to face, right? And all we can do is trust that if we're doing the right thing, that the universe will step in and stand up for us each and every time. And I can't tell you how many things that have happened in my life where God, the universe has protected me from harm or, you know, during some of the most insidious times in my life, you know? Uh, the 10 years of homelessness, you know, it's like, it's like I didn't get a scratch on me. And so I know for a fact that God is good and he watches out for those who stand up for right. And I think that is the, what card do we have here? I knew that. I wanted to say justice. Yes, we have justice. Okay, this is a confirmation in God letting you know anytime you stand up for the right and for balance and for love and peace and for the underdog, God will bring justice and balance into your life. Uh, God will bless you with karma, uh, good karma, dharma, I think they call it. But the main thing is, is God is calling upon the divine masculines 
to uh, stand in their power and be a protector of those who are less fortunate, uh, more vulnerable. Um, if you see something that needs to be said, to say it. You have no idea how this will affect your self-esteem and your courage and your bravery. You'll just get stronger and stronger and braver and braver continuously. This is being emotionally happy with yourself, like feeling it in your heart, like, damn, I did the right thing. Yeah, yeah. And so, you know, this is the conversation that's coming up and we're going to go with it. Look, I got so nervous about this warrior card and I'm not quite sure why. Um, you know, my dad taught me how to be a warrior from time I was three years old. And this is the honest to goodness truth. He taught me how to fight. He taught me how to um, watch for people who will would pull sneaky pulls on me and he taught me to be strong and he taught me to be brave today we have the moon is um trying aries right now which means today is a wonderful day to practice your skills of leadership because your feelings and your 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 direction will kind of like be in the same area uh, Aries has that circle at the bottom and then the arrow at the top, right? So that's moving upward and outward of your personal safety zone, right? Now, I'm not talking about getting dangerous. I'm talking about speaking up. I'm talking about don't put yourself into any kind of dangerous situation. But, but to be an example and role model for your children of truth and justice. You know, I made a vow. My dad taught me how to fight. I wanted to t finish this. And he told me whenever we would practice or he would work with me, he'd say, Connie, I don't ever, ever want you to hit anyone first. He said, you never, ever start a fight. He said, but if anybody ever touches you, I expect you to finish it. If anybody hurts you, I expect you to finish it. And, you know, and and my dad was awesome. He'd, he'd tell me, never say bad stuff about other people also. Don't talk about people. Don't say, um, you know, what was that saying? Maybe I'll think of it here as we go along, but there was a saying about, you know, don't say things to people that you wouldn't want said to yourself, of course, right? Uh, we have a nine and we have Uranus and we have Saturn. Uh, ooh, Saturn and nine completions, endings, um, um, yeah, endings to what? To outdated thinking. I got Uranus here and it is about expansion and bringing new perceptions in and realizing, you know, a uh, deep, uh, um, truth. It, it's about revolution and pushing boundaries and, and, and Saturn is all about the father, right? It's the father energy of the Zodiac. There we go. Yeah, that's Saturn. And, um, so the father energy uh, pushing the boundaries, okay, here we go, which is what we're doing today. We're actually talking about everyday life. We have to be warriors in everyday life in order to move forward because there's always obstacles in front of us, right? There's always something that, you know, isn't going to be happy with everything we're doing. And so we have to be willing to fight through those obstacles. If it isn't somebody, it could be a situation. It could be um, a position, you know, that 
has to be completed in order to move forward. It could be a situation that needs to be solved before moving forward. It could be people who doubt us and don't encourage us to move forward or even our own self, our own self-esteem that doubts us and we don't move forward. So see, that's even warrior-like. We want to be a warrior in everything we do. We want to take a dive. We want to aim our intention towards the direction we want to go, even if we have to take little bitty baby steps at a time. You know, as fathers, men, most of you are looked at probably as leaders of your family because men always have been put in leadership situations in the family. Even young boys, from the time you guys are born, you're told, you know, be a man, be, be a man. What's be a man? It's about being a leader and leading and guiding your family into a place of happiness joy and fulfillment now i don't want to forget about your mates because a marriage or taking care of children takes two people so it is a contract between you and the wife about how your children are raised what kind of standards you have what kind of values but you know the best values you can teach your children are truth and honor and how to read and after that you know they're going to be taught a lot of things that they won't pick up but if you teach them truth and honor and what it feels like to be truthful and honorable they will feel that beauty within them and they will move forward with that bravery and courage is needed when we make our way out into the world our children should be taught how to fight before they ever get to school. In fact, I recommend all parents to teach. If you don't want to teach your child how to fight, then put them in a fighting class. You will not believe how their self-esteem will raise. Go with them. Learn how to fight. Now, I haven't had to fight for a long time. But through my life, I have had to learn to fight. I, I had to fight. My dad was right. He, we were born in poverty. There's a lot of, how do I say this? There's a lot of underdeveloped people in poverty, and they're kind of like, they're hard to deal with sometimes. And, you know, fights were a part of my everyday world between my mom and dad not being able to work things out between, you know, uh, kids at school not being able to work things out. So fighting come in real handy for me. Not that I like to fight because I was always the one hiding behind the garbage can. But if they pushed me enough, you know, I was that one that you had to push. You had to push her again. And then you'd have to push her and she'd fall down on her ass. But once I fell down, I was going to get back up. And when I did, it, it just wasn't always very pretty because I kind of, I had that crazy berserker mentality. Like, I don't even remember the fight. It would just be, I would, the fight would be over and I would wake up. It was almost like I went to sleep through the fight because I was terrified of fighting. I didn't want to fight. And my dad knew to teach me because he knew I was a very sensitive soul and people would pick on me and I needed to be tougher. Probably God told him to do it because I had this mission that I was going to go out into life. And if I hadn't known how to fight, I wouldn't have survived it. So this is what I'm saying to you. Learn to be a fighter. Go to fighting class with your children. You cannot believe the self-esteem and self-positive um, attitude that it will give you. Now, do I want you to go out there and cause violence and mayhem? No, I do not. But what I want you to be able to do is stand up for yourself without fear. And that's what a good fighting class, a good kung fu class, a good um, boxing class, something that will teach you the discipline of fighting can do for you. Now, I've never been to a class, and 
you know, that's okay. But if you can do this for your child, and if you can't afford to go to a class like me, you can be a father that gets a pair of boxing gloves and starts working with your kids. Girls, too. Do not allow your girls and teach them never... Um, Never say anything to anyone you wouldn't once said to you. And uh, this is the rules my dad put on me. And never hit anyone first. And, you know, these are the things that they will teach you, you know, because fighting is a necessity on this planet. That was king of cups. That's emotional fulfillment. Don't you know how proud you'll be of your children? Uh, it is a mainstay to be a fighter in this world. I don't know how you guys' lives has been, but there's always conflict somewhere. And to walk around in fear of conflict is not a good thing. But if you know how to fight, if you know how to fight, not just with your fists, but with your words too, that's always good practice too, to teach your children how to have a good argument because all good warriors know how to have a good argument. Um, this says discontent and disappointment, self-pity, back off, reject, meditation, seclusion, apathy, need to introspection reevaluation reposition yourself so whoever this divine masculine is here or that's what we're seeing is not very happy with life and hasn't maybe got the discipline to reach out and take a cup or to reach out maybe he doesn't have the courage I don't know it doesn't matter one way or another what matters is that you're brave enough just to go ahead and move forward. Do not look back. Do not, you know, to stand up for yourself. That's what I'm saying. Stand up for yourself. To teach your children to stand up for themselves. You'll never come to this place right here if you know how to fight through life. If you know how to fight through conflict, if you're always walking away from people to avoid conflict or to avoid a fight or to avoid a discussion, then you're probably going to feel like this a lot because this is dissatisfaction and it's not dissatisfaction so much with the cups. It's dissatisfaction with self. Self-esteem is a part of our life. If we don't feel good about who we are like this, we want to feel like this. Yeah, I'm riding in on my white horse. I'm going to save the day. Hit every day like that. And that's, that comes from feeling good about who you are. And one of the best disciplines you can learn is to learn how to fight. The art of war and peace. To understand your opponent. To understand what you're going through. To change your perception on life. I'm not talking about fighting with weapons, spears, or swords. I'm talking about using your mind. Um... Uh, your emotions, your words. But truth be told, once you learn how to master your body through the art of the exercise and the discipline, whether it be yoga, um, you know, lifting weights, uh, boxing, kung fu, um, karate, tai chi, whatever, any of that, even tai chi, I love tai chi. Tai chi will teach you how to balance out everything in your body, including your mind, including your emotions, including your, um, it's a spiritual practice, yoga, Tai Chi, meditation for, you know, I meditate a total of five minutes a day. And how do I meditate? 
Well, when I first meditated, started, I started off through imagination, thinking about God. What was God like? Because it was like I was on the God trail, right? This was in my 50s. And um, so, you know, it, it just kind of grew a little bit then. Then I didn't meditate again until 62. And then I went through a really difficult time. And I thought, you know what, I, I got to overcome this. I'm going to practice meditating again. And then I did and kind of got creative with it. And I found a, a system of where I've told you all many times about how I meditate about five minutes a day uh, with my chakras and stuff like that. And, you know, it works for me. So I do it a lot. But this is about changing your perception about yourself and your life and and moving forward uh, into justice and you yourself bring your justice and happiness to you. But your children and you, I can't stress enough how important, and I tell this to everybody I talk to about their children, put them in a disciplined class of karate, kung fu, boxing, something like that. And and again, we've got the seven of wands, take the higher ground. They will teach them the art of fighting, that you don't fight for just any reason or any cause, but generally it's to defend yourself or someone else. And honor, we don't worry about defending honor, right? We just, you know, want to protect those that we love. Honor is a whole nother thing. We hold honor within ourselves. Can't nobody dishonor us by saying anything or doing anything. Only we can dishonor ourselves. Only we. Nobody else can dishonor us. Divine Masculines, I know you guys love a good fight, right? Yes. Hmm. Three of Swords, doggone. I didn't want to pull that. Somebody actually, yeah, really needing to take that Saturn seriously uh, and ending to something which was the Nine and Saturn and, Ur and um, Uranus and expanding our mindset a little bit more outward uh, to release this heartbreak. And unfortunately, whether you broke your own heart or somebody else broke your heart, but generally we see the signs and we really are, are the ones that break our own heart too, right? We get attached to things and fall in love with things that aren't always the best for us. And uh, sometimes we have to break our own hearts so we can wake up. And we usually do that by attaching ourselves to people, places, or things that don't do us right. But on the other side, when we come out of the heartbreak, we learn a whole lot of lessons. And this is about learning to fight with your words, learning to speak and say and um, speak your truth, right? Yes, the chariot. It looks like you're ascending now. You're moving away from that heartbreak. Um, yes, you want to learn to speak uh, words, too, that will bring... Um, you know, to fight your battles. I don't know what's going on. It looked like um, a lot of stuff here. We went through this card here, but we have Justice Ten of Cups, and then we got to the Creator offering a cup and not really wanting to accept it, but you change your perception. And we got a broken heart. from whatever, a three of swords, a betrayal probably. Uh, uh, that's why we walk in honor, right? The betrayals are just too many. Too many people are not taught what it's like to be trustworthy and honorable. And listen, once you become trustworthy and honorable, you become um, a rare commodity. A fighter, trustworthy, 
honorable, let me tell you something. You will be a rare commodity, and any divine feminine would be happy to have you. That's right. That's right. Invest in yourself, divine masculine. I'm talking to you as if you were my own son. If you've had your heart broken, if you've been betrayed and deceived, it's time to invest in yourself and your goodness. It's time to learn to be a fighter, not just physically, but mentally, spiritually, and vocally. Yeah. Yeah. Had to go there. The cards popped out. I'm sorry. I love y'all. Yes, five of ones again. My goodness, my goodness, my goodness. Well, this is why we need to know how to verbally handle ourselves, right? Because these sticks is basically, you know, fire. Um, uh, 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 what am I thinking? Fire, what? Arguments. Yeah, these are arguments. Speaking arguments, angry, frustrated, right? Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what to do. Put up a boundary. Shh. Against anybody bringing conflict your way, put that boundary up. And um, when you do, this is what you'll find. The Ten of Cups. Put the boundary up, Divine Masculine. It doesn't matter, you know, even if there's somebody that you have a child with or something like that and brings this conflict to your door and you're doing the best you can, it might be time to, um, you know, write a letter and put it in an envelope and stick it outside on the mailbox when, you know, they pick up the child at the door and uh, communicate back and forth like that because it's a lot easier to shut that letter and just tell her or him, her, the reason I'm saying her is because this is a divine masculine read that, um, you know, communication is not the best it could be. And so you would rather just communicate through mail, letter, or messages. And that way it can be taken care of and that energy won't be so much directed at you, whatever energy this here is. Hmm? Okay, so once you stand up for yourself, that's what this is all about, is learning how to become a good fighter, a boxer, a, a, vo a vocal fighter as well. I'm not talking about cussing and, you know, wearing people down with schoolyard stuff. I'm talking about being able to explain yourself in a way that's going to make them take a step back and say, oh, I understand. so clearly explained that they can literally see it pop out in your brain, right? That's telekinesis. That's what happens um, telepathy too. You know, once you get your focus good, when you explain your stuff to people, they will see what you're saying. Okay, Divine Masculine, it's time to take a rest. Um, yeah. Yeah. And think about what you would like to do. And, you know, the, the warrior come up earlier today for this reading. And I thought on it for a few hours, you know. And I thought about how my dad was so good to me as to teach me to fight when I was a little girl. How many fathers did that 60 odd, some odd years ago? 63 years ago. How many fathers did that? Not a lot. But my dad did it for me, and I think every child should know how to hold themselves up in a good argument or a good showdown, because it's our job to teach the bullies. Who else is going to school them but those that they're trying to hurt, right? And bullies do need to be schooled. They do. And that way they don't go out into the world. You know, you're the, you know, the buck stops right here. And the same with you guys, too. All bullies, whether divine masculine, whether female or male, it don't matter. A bully is a bully. Taking advantage, pushing around, taking more than theirs, blah, blah, blah. 
how did I get this card again? Four cups. I got a, it's a double down. The divine is offering you something, divine masculine, something very sacred, something very much will uh, help you further your future. Um, this card suggests that you're looking at the things in the past or you're not listening or you're not paying attention and you're leaning here back against the tree with your eye closed and the music on almost refusing to hear it says that's what this card says what's he refusing to hear that's let's ask let's ask let's get another deck what's he refusing to hear let's use this deck the chrysalis deck make sure what's he refusing to hear divine masculine Ravens, the magician, that what you want, what you're trying to manifest won't be manifested, or that, you know, keep, keep looking back in the past, something from the past you want back. on manifesting the Empress trying well I'll tell you right now to my masculine she's the one that broke your heart is she if there's been a betrayal Here's what I got to say. The sun says you're heading in the right direction. Keep doing what you're doing. Um, because we all learn from our actions. And, you know, if, if, if you're working on bringing someone in your life that you can love very much then do it do it to it I'm not going to go into that because we were talking about becoming a warrior teaching our children to become a warrior learning to so I'm not going into that I love you the sun says keep it going contact your inner child become innocent become pure love just like you were when you were that little four or five year old boy running around planning on growing up to be a hero someday take your fighting class you know work on your discipline learn to love yourself more and um, proceed proceed because life will be good for you sometimes we gotta go through a rough time so we can really really be grateful for the good Okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Mwah. Love you. Bye-bye.